Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have another transfer market video to make today. So um, as you guys know, I am trying to make different types of content for you guys in regards to the transfer market, gameplay stuff, maybe tutorials in the future if I get enough gameplay footage, because obviously I've been mostly doing player reviews and stuff. Um, we're going to see what the vibes are with that. But for today's video, we are going to be talking about position modifier sniping, right? So um, the best way to get started with the position modifier sniper uh, or sniping is checking out what the prices of these cards are, right? So what you could do here is you can go to Footbin and you can check out whatever console you're on, whether it's PlayStation or Xbox, and you can see the price of each individual uh, position modifier. So obviously, the ones that cost 200 coins, there's not really any point in regards to doing or sniping of those specific cards, right? But if you take a look at here at the bottom where you have striker to center forward, center forward to striker, uh, center mid to CDM, CDM to center mid, those are the types of cards that you want to snipe on the market because these cards always uh, sell for more, especially when the demand is higher during the weekends or just the Thursday when they refresh division rivals, right? So players are always switching around the team. They're kind of preparing for foot champs, always switching up different things constantly, right? So you guys can see right here, um, I just sniped a left wing to left mid position modifier for 900 coins. And I know, right, what his sniping cost is. But we're going to take a look at what it is generally because Footbin is not always accurate, right? They just give you the, a very good estimate of what the price is. So what we do here is we search left wing, left mid. We see what the price of the card is on the market, right? So you can see that at 900 coins, 1,000 coins, this card is not selling. If we go to 1,100, you can see that he's actually selling around this area uh, 56 minutes ago, 57. So there's a guy that's probably listing a bunch of them right now because he knows that the demand is high. So people will continuously buy these cards. But you can tell there's only two different pages for these cards. You can see that it already sold for 1,000 as a quick buy now, right? But you can see that there's only two pages of this. So we're going to search for... 1,200 here, right? You can see that 1,200, it's still 56 minutes. So that's kind of like the area that you want to see in regards to you listing up the card because you don't necessarily need to sell the card right away. You just need to know that the card is going to sell over time, right? So if you go to the transfer list here, I actually sold my left wing to left mid card already for 1,200. That was on the market for a little bit already, right? Because we do have the one I just bought that we just listed, right? So that one went for 1,200. So Again, guys, the sniping filter that you would go for is like this, right? Boom, one just popped up, 950 or 750. That would have been a great snipe because 750, we would have sold them for 1,200. The price difference would have been amazing, right? So the thing about the position modifier sniping is that sometimes you get unlucky and sometimes you get lucky because when people are sniping for these cards, the way that these this transfer market kind of like pops up when these things uh, come up is very, very random right sometimes there's cards that are there for like three or four seconds and you're able to still snipe it like i miss my snipe but then i'm still able to snipe it again which is very strange because it's just a matter of whether or not the transfer market loads quick enough for people right but with left wing to left mid you know that this card is in demand you know that it sells for a thousand two hundred so this is what you kind of consistently go for now obviously when you're sniping cards on the transfer market ea may kick you out at some point because they think you're a bot um i was actually sniping this card earlier in the morning and when I was sniping the card, uh, I got the the animal flipping thing like twice, right? So it just wasn't necessarily ideal. Uh, but, you know, you try to snipe for these cards, right? So you could be here for a while. You know, it, it really depends on you and what type of filter you want to have. Because even if you if you snipe the card for 1,000 coins, you know that he still sells for 1,200. It just depends on how much profit you want to make and how good you are at sniping uh, in regards to like sniping these specific cards right so you can see that i just got one for 800 but there was a little bit of a lag and you can see that there was a three second difference if i got the card maybe two seconds before in regards to the filter loading up quickly i would have been able to snipe that card but we could search for the card at a thousand coins right just to see what would pop up now obviously when the packs are out or people are doing like squad battle rewards or anything it's actually ideal to consistently snipe these cards because the value of these cards always go up at some point you can see that i just sniped that one for 900 coins um so we can get that for 900 coins sell them for a thousand two hundred and we know that that's going to be a guaranteed buy but like i was saying 
uh, you want to try to get these cards when they're significantly cheaper during the weekdays or whatever it is, because when you wait until the weekends, you can just get all the ones that exist in your club and then just keep listing them constantly, right? But for the sake of what you want to do at the very moment, this is just one of the ways that you guys can make money. So you can see right there, 900 coins, 1,200 if you do. Um, the whole calculation of it i'll even show you guys on footprint the calculation is very simple but you can see that uh the card will sell for a thousand one hundred and forty net price so we did make a profit on that right the reason why people do this in the transfer market is because uh you know if you play let's just say for instance if you play one game of fifa right you get either 400 or 500 match coins right there are some examples where people list these cards for 200 coins 300 coins and when you get those snipes and you sell them for a thousand two hundred you are basically making an 800 or 700 coin profit on each individual card right so the reason why i have it on a thousand again is because you can see that it's not being consistently listed right now but even if i get it for a thousand coins i'll definitely make a profit on a card like this right so sometimes you may get bored on the specific position modifier. Sometimes they don't really pop up that often, right? Which is uh, a thing that definitely consistently happens. This whole like transfer market being super slow happens as well sometimes. Um, so when that happens, you can kind of move on to another card. So you would check the transfer market again. Center mid to cam sells for a uh, thousand coins, right? So you can go center mid to cam. We're going to try to snipe this card at like 800 coins, right? So center mid or yeah, center mid to cam. We'll try to sell it for 800 coins. You can see that one's listed for, you know, 20, a two second difference, but we're still able to snipe them at 800 coins. So we're going to go ahead and list them on the market for a thousand. Considering the fact that we signed for 800 coins, we'll make like 150, 170 coins on that bad boy, right? So you search for 800 because you always want to make a consistent amount of coins when you search for these things and then there you go that's when they actually make you uh go back into the game and then to do a, do the whole like animal flipping thing <laughs> nailed it so it's actually a good idea that they uh gave me the captcha so i can go ahead and show you guys what these guys are selling for on the market so you can see that the left wing to left mid card are selling for uh, or is selling for a thousand two hundred consistently right because the demand is so high and it's the same thing for the center mid to cam cards that actually do sell at a thousand coins you can see that i actually have a new center mid to cam card being listed right there that just got bought as well, right? So um, the threshold is actually a thousand coins for the center mid to cam card because if you take a look at the transfer market over here, right, center mid to cam, if you go to a thousand one hundred, the threshold is like in seconds. Some of these cards will still be bought for sure uh, as last second buys, but if you want to make instant profit uh, the moment it's happening, you do search for the area of where it's like around 50 minutes, right? So you can see 57, this is where he is going to consistently sell at a thousand coins, right? So you can go back to 800 coins right here. One just popped up, boom, sniped it. I think I got it, but that there's a little bit of server lag. So not really sure if that's gonna pop up. And then you just go back again, right? It's, it's, it's ideal to actually set that minimum price to 150 because it kind of actually fixes the transfer market a little bit, right? So you go back to sniping this card, center mid to cam, 800 coins. Sometimes you get lucky when you snipe these things, guys. Like I say, man, like um, sometimes they come up for like 600 coins, 700 coins, and you make a little bit of uh, a, a better profit. You can see 250 coins for this card right there, right? And it wasn't, my sniping abilities are not that good, right? But it is a great way to make money in this game because there's people that don't, know that these cards cost a lot of money right so they list them for a very short amount because they just want to make a quick little buck on these things right so you can see that i just got it for 250 coins we'll sell him for a profit of 750 with tax it's probably going to be it's probably going to be uh, exactly 950 coins so we just made a 700 coin profit on that one card right so you know you keep it going again right you keep it going again just to see, you know, if you get more cards. Again, you keep rotating, man. You never get bored of this thing. Get a stream going in the background while you're doing this, right? Uh, if you get bored of specific cards, you switch it up, man. You search for something else. Center mid to CDM at 900 coins. You go there. But you can see that this card in particular is not being sniped at a quick uh, a quick price, right? So it's actually better than the left wing to left mid card because... Um, I don't know, like people are just kind of like listing these for great prices and people are not sniping these right away. I'm not going to get that because of server lag. Yeah, definitely not going to get that because of server lag. But um, yeah, that's why you kind of list these for like 150, 200. 
boom. And you just keep going, man. Like, honestly, like, this is a really easy way to make coins while the streams are in the background. Uh, you make a consistent amount of coins. You can see that I have 123k to work with. I started doing this uh, probably like 10 minutes ago, right? And uh, obviously, when you do the video, you're kind of like showing people the ifs, ands, or buts of each individual card, right? But look, 750 coins again. I'm going to make a 200 coin profit on that. But this is like guaranteed coins, right? Like these coins are coming to you instantly. This is not like the CDM shadow sniping method where these are last second buys. Like you are getting this money right away, right? 700 coins, someone actually sniped that one right away. Some people actually catch on when you're on the market and they start to snipe it instantly, see? So you can see you kind of have to search for each individual position modifier and uh, just take a look and see which ones people are not sniping right away, right? Again, there are people that do catch on because they see how fast these cards are being sniped at and then they just do the exact same thing. So there is also another guy that's doing this as well now um, and he's definitely probably better than me at sniping or it could be a bot who knows we uh, we don't know how it is in this game because of those things existing but like i said guys this is just a really good way to make coins look i just got it for 800 coins boom listed up for a thousand again and just in that short short span of time i just made how much i would make in a game doing this on the transfer market you know what i'm saying so again guys you just search for different position modifiers see which ones are great at sniping list these prices down like make sure that you put these prices down because when these cards are cheaper than what they are right now buy them like crazy fill up your club with them and then when they're in demand just list them on the transfer market like crazy so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video it's just another way to make money in this game because you guys know that i'm um not really oh 200 coins on that one not really crazy about um you know how the gameplay is in regards to gameplay content giving you coins so this is the way to make coins in this game if you don't have a lot of coins to work with you can see i have 121k but i can definitely snipe these cards consistently and consistently always make a profit and you can see that i'm at six right now these cards will always consistently sell 1200 000 000 coins remember that i did buy that one card for 250 and they are selling on the market so like i said guys hopefully you guys enjoy the video i'll try to see more of these in regards to uh different types of filters for you guys to make coins and um yeah i'll catch you guys later peace out dudes love you guys